Understanding Shimmering Curtain in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a beautiful and descriptive phrase, shimmering curtain. This phrase is not just about vocabulary. It's about painting a picture with words. Let's dive in and see how this phrase can enhance your English comprehension and expression. Shimmering curtain is a two-part phrase, combining an adjective and a noun to create a vivid image. Let's break it down. Shimmering. This adjective describes something that sparkles or gleams lightly, often with a type of soft, changing light. It suggests movement and a gentle, dynamic quality, like the surface of a calm sea under the moonlight. Curtain. A curtain is a piece of fabric used to cover a window, separate spaces, or as a backdrop. It's often associated with the idea of concealing or revealing something behind it. When we say, shimmering curtain, we're often talking about something that's not just a physical curtain. This phrase can describe anything that visually resembles a curtain and has a sparkling or gentle glowing effect. It could be, the way sunlight filters through leaves, creating a natural, moving tapestry. A waterfall under moonlight, with the water droplets looking like they're shimmering. Northern lights in the sky, resembling a curtain of light that moves and changes colors. This phrase is a beautiful example of how English allows for creative expression and imagery through the combination of simple words. To help you understand how to use this phrase in context, here are a few examples. As the sun set, the lake turned into a shimmering curtain of gold and pink hues. The stage was set, with a shimmering curtain separating the audience from the magic about to unfold. Through the dense forest, a shimmering curtain of morning dew greeted the hikers. Notice how in each example, the phrase enriches the sentence by adding a layer of visual description and emotion. The phrase, shimmering curtain, is a beautiful example of the richness of the English language. It's not just about the words themselves, but the images and feelings they evoke. We hope this video has not only expanded your vocabulary but also inspired you to look for the beauty in everyday scenes and describe them in English. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll be creating vivid images with your words too. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.